You know, it's fun being YouTube famous or um, small town famous, whatever you want to call it. Since I've been here, I've been spotted, recognized as Bob the YouTuber on at least three occasions that I know of, which means there's probably another half dozen that I don't. And that's fun for me. And sometimes I'll be sitting in a train station or in a restaurant and I'll notice people looking at me and I'll think, they recognize me as Bob the YouTuber. And I think, no, they probably just think I'm Bruce Willis. Either way, it's fun. And in the olden days, when there weren't so many foreigners in Taiwan, I used to get stared at more often. In fact, I know I caused traffic accidents. I witnessed it, <laughs> which is a shame. And even me, if I saw a foreigner on the street of Taipei, I'd have to stare at him or her. Another day, another breakfast. The bad news is, my Fanton guys are no longer in business. I was hoping they'd only be gone for a week or so, but they never came back. Sometime over the last few months while I've been away, they left. They're no longer on my corner. I had to find a new place for Fantuan. Bummer. You know, my life in Taiwan isn't really very exciting. But it is eventful. I didn't hear as much Taiwanese as you hear Mandarin when you're walking around Kaohsiung. I picked up some Taiwanese. Do you know how to say barbecue in Taiwanese? BBQ. <laughs> Just kidding. I think it's a bad idea to eat any meals out of a can, especially at breakfast time. Having said that, I think I eat about half of my meals, almost all my breakfasts, out of a bag. And that's okay. In Taiwan, you spend an awful lot of time talking about fruit. The Taiwanese are obsessed with fruit. I don't know why. Maybe because there's always something in season. But there's only so much you can say about fruit. It's either sweet or sour or tart, maybe. You can't really talk about texture in polite company. There's too many connotations and innuendo. It's hard. It's juicy. It's tender. It's succulent. That's too risque for the Taiwanese. Unless I'm missing something here. Am I missing something here? Is that what it's really all about? How do I not know this? One thing that you know that I really like about living in Taiwan is I have a very simple life here. I have minimal belongings. I do my laundry every three or four days because I sweat through my clothes sometimes twice a day. <clears throat> to cycle. Sweat through the clothes, do the laundry, hang them up, put them away, take them out, sweat through my clothing, do the laundry, every three, four days. Everyone needs a hobby. 
I've thrown away a lot of stuff in the last few years. If you throw away one thing every day for a month, at the end of that month, you'll be naked and homeless. That's my goal. Everyone should have goals. So I'm on my morning walk. I left the apartment, cut around uh, the Central Park, had breakfast, and now I'm down near the water. Every shortcut is either an adventure or a regret. Sometimes both. It's kind of a hazy day in Taiwan again today. Normally, I don't come this early in the year, so I'm not used to... I wasn't ready for the heat and humidity. Here we are, 8 o'clock in the morning, 7.30. And it's so hot and humid already. But in a video I made recently in Canada, maybe a couple of months ago, I said that it's okay to complain about one season, but only one season. So, I never complain about the heat and humidity. It's actually really good. Good for my skin. Good for my well-being. Because when it's hot and humid like this, I don't mind going out, walking around. I got my hiking towel with me. I always have my hiking towel with me. It's very, very green down here this year. With all those typhoons and rain. And I noticed, you won't notice it today, but I've noticed it on past days, that when the sun comes up, or when the sun sets, there's this golden 20 minutes or 30 minutes that the city just turns such a lovely color of gold. I'm in Taiwan earlier this year than I was last year and previous years and I'm missing autumn. I'm missing raking up the leaves. My neighbor is a fireman. He has a, a leaf blower. I hate firemen. Hi, buddy. How? Can we buy danbing, ma? The young, young, uh, yen wei de danbing. Wai dai. Wai dai. Sure, da.
六十块是不是？哎，五十，谢谢。谢谢，谢谢你，谢谢。